So we're back at one of our old spots. I've been digging tons of iron like this crazy thing. We're just kind of working the weird spots, hoping to get something. Oh, oh. it's like it's a nickel, and it is. <laughs> oh, it's new though. I thought that was gonna be something. What a heartbreaker. 1970. Well, there's a Model T radiator cap. Those always sound so good. That's ringing just like a half dollar. Yeah, I haven't seen one of those since I was a kid. Me either. Yeah, that's a flat nail. Turned into a ring. Didn't when he found it. Glad he doesn't like it though. That'll be good in my collection. <laughs> He hates iron, so. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right, just been fighting the rain. Dug a bunch of interesting stuff. Look at that, I got a coin, finally. It's like a 1920 something. 23? So I got a wheat, boom. Man, I'm at such a pretty place. We've only been here once before, and we found a bunch of tokens. But look at that. I got a token. My first good thing. I think I found a ring here, too. Man, let me clean that up and see what it is. Well, I can see a few uh, letters on here. I did get one like this earlier this year, and it was from a mine. And then I had, like, the person's name on it. I'm assuming this is pretty similar. I don't know if it's from that mine or not. But I think what this would have been is whatever it was for, then when the tourists would show up, they'd stamp the name on the token. Anyways, that's awesome. Well, you always got to dig at least one horseshoe. Plus... Yeah, I found in a couple episodes, you dig enough of these every once in a while, they turn into a gun. Then then he found some iron. A little writing on there. Warwood. I don't know what these are. Two of them exactly the same. I also got an axe head. I don't know if you can see it down by my toe. Oh, you got a token. I'm turning over. <laughs> Dang. So that's the same token that I found here a couple times. Mm -hmm. Good job. So yeah. we both got tokens today. Yeah. Awesome. Well, that took a while. Finally got a button. Well, I got a brass buckle. Boy, that's right near the mouth of the cellar hole. Right behind me. Look at that weird little thing. What do you guys think that one is? All right, finally. Some silverware. <laughs> Not a great one. But... It's a complete one. So up here on the hill, I don't know if I'm pointing the right spot quite, but we think there's a cellar hole. We got permission to go check it out. And looks like I got a sheep tag here. Interesting, I've never had one that was steel before and this one's painted orange. Interesting. At least it looks exactly like the old sheep tags we normally find. Dang, I got looking and uh, looks like I can see a U.S. Forest Service emblem on there too. So this is right in the cellar. I've been digging for a while. I see something I like down there. It's going to take a minute to get it out though. Dang. Well, there she is in all its glory. It's definitely a lid. I'm sure someone smarter than me knows exactly what it's to. 
Well, there ain't a lot in this cellar hole. But what's here is pretty cool. I'm not sure exactly what this says. I think the bottom word says brace. I must say Shirley. Yeah. Shirley brace. So this must be made by Shirley President. I have never seen that. That is really neat. Wow. I'm really digging that one. Yeah, this place is interesting. There's just not much here. But every time I dig something, it's something kind of interesting or good. Uh, Dinwiddie's actually out perusing the field trying to find a foundation. Because, you know, they didn't live right here. I wonder, maybe they just camped here or something and they had a cellar hole. And they just kind of migrate here with the sheep or something. I don't know, this is a hard one to figure. But sometimes it takes us a while to figure it out. Who knows, maybe Dan Whitty will bump the foundation here in a minute and give me the yell. Well, I got a little button here. It's going to be a Monarch uh, suspender button. Monarch of the West is what they say on them. This one's in pretty rough shape. You can see it's got a chip out of it too. Connor, quit breathing. I'm missing the bag. Real nice car. Oh, how that's focusing. Nice car heart button, dude. He's hot. Got a pocket knife. Look at that. Somebody dropped it open. Well, there's a handsaw medallion. Those are always neat. One nice thing, neat thing about these is you can date them too. There's a chart. You can look them all up. So this homestead burned out last year. We're trying it with the mini coils. I found my first silver thimble at this one. I already got a couple of uh, rifle cartridges. So there's still signals, but look at that. Got a suspender clip. Dang, that just got me a sweet little cuff link here. Look at that. That's cool, some sort of inlay on top. Very nice. When last time we are here? I don't know. Man, we've been here like five minutes, we're already getting stuff. Yeah. Yeah, that's really? nice, that's steel. Yeah, this should clean up pretty good. I got something around. What is it? That looks like a token. Heck yeah, baby. My favorite. Let me uh, clean this sucker up. We'll see if we can see something on there. So it's a little toasty. It says Tucson, T-U-S-A-N, Alexander. Polson, Montana. Good for five cents in trade. Man, that's awesome. I'm, see, now I gotta look that up, try to figure out what the heck this even means, or whether it was a bar, pool hall. Awesome. I see something that's round. Something. Oh, it's another token. No way. This one's an octagon. Dinwiddie over here is trying to <laughs> trying to stay positive. This one might be pretty toasty. Let me see if I can clean it up. Well, at this point, I actually don't see anything on here that I can distinguish. I don't know. Maybe if I soak it in some lemon juice for a couple days or something hopefully i can get this cleaned up and see something on there these are my favorite that's kind of heartbreaking to not know what the heck it said <laughs> 